welcome to math class with Miss Kaylin. We're going to start off our class today by being a little silly in order to get our sillies out. So, our silly question today would be, is if you have a pet unicorn, what colors would you want it to be? I would want mine to be pink and purple and blue. And I hope that you can kind of think about real quick what colors you would want yours to be. Those sound like some great color choices. Now that we got our little sillies out with our silly question, we're gonna start in some affirmations. So I want you to listen, and after we listen, then I want you to say it with me, and that's how we're gonna learn our affirmations together, okay? I am smart, I love with all my heart. So that's gonna be our affirmation, so I want you to say it with me, okay? I am smart, and now you say it. Good job. I love with all my heart. There you go. Now let's see if we can say it at the same time and then we're going to move on, okay? I am smart and I love with all my heart. Great job. Now that we did that, we're going to count one to ten together, okay? If you know it, count with me. If not, you can just follow along. And we're going to use our fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job! Now, we're going to try one more time. We're going to go a little faster. And I want you to repeat after me for the numbers, okay? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job! Now, since we went over our numbers, I want to talk to you about our number of the day. Today's number of the day is the number one. So let's see if we can count and go over some examples of things that would be the number one. For example, we have one nose. And also right here, we have how many cars? That's right, there's only one car. Let's see if we can go over another example. How many balls do you see? That's right, there's just one. Now let's come up with one more example. There's how many books here. That's right, it's just one book. Now since we went over our number of the day, I want to move on to something where we can kind of stand up, stretch, get our bodies moving, and we're going to sing a number rhyme together, okay? So I want you to stand up and you're going to make a fist because we're going to sing, here is the beehive. Here is the beehive, where are the bees? The bees are hiding where nobody sees. Watch them creep out the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Great job singing that with me. Now we're gonna count one more time since we finished our song, okay? And we're gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Now All right, friends. Now we're ready to take the time to count our days of the week. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you guys know your days of the week song? Let's sing it together real quick so we can go over it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job! Those are our days of the week. Now I want to move on. Since we did our days of the week and we counted those, I want to show you how to write some numbers. So we're going to write our number of the day, okay? Hi friends! I have to do a little presto change up and get a marker and my board so I can show you how to write the number one. 
Whenever we're done, I want you to try to get a pen and a paper or pencil and a paper and do it at home yourself. So how I write the number one is I start from the top and I go down to the bottom and we make a straight line. And if you need to, sometimes to make dots to help and you can connect the dots. Or if you just do a line where you start up and you just move down, that could also be a number one. So you just start at the top and you go down to the bottom. And that's how you write the number one. So you guys did a great job with that. Now we're gonna erase it and we're gonna start by doing a little interactive game on our board. Now we're gonna play an interactive game. So I'm gonna point to the pictures on the board and you're gonna tell me the number of objects you see. So for example, how many lions do you see? That's right, there's just one. Now, how many books do you see? That's right, there's just one book. And our last example would be, how many apples do you see? That's right, just one. You guys did a great job in class today, and I hope to see you back again soon. Bye-bye.